I well, have you ever like been a side chick? I have. I've been a side chick. I've been a sneaky link. I've been um I've been pretty much labeled everything. Sometimes I be telling men like y'all be messing with women thinking every woman wants y'all to be they like boyfriend. Yeah. We think just like y'all, sometimes we just don't say it because mm -hmm. it doesn't make us look good. You know what I'm saying? So every, I mean, every woman, every woman got a few lunchables in the fridge. That's what I'm saying. Like men, the men that I know, they take pride in being my side. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They take pride. They know their position. They know when and when not to call. They know what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They respect my situation. When you get a chick who take pride in being a side chick. Mm -hmm. She, she's confident in a sense where she's not trying to be number one. What it do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I'm your host, Day with an I, not a Y, do not X, Y, and today I have a great one for y'all because we are joined by, she doesn't want me to call her a model, but I've been doing my research on her and she has model-like photos, so I'm going to say she's a model. An actress to be, soon to be. We're going to talk about it. Overall, a great vibe, ladies and gentlemen. We are joined by Portia. What it do? What's up? What's How are you? What's going on? I'm better. How are you? Good, good. I'm glad that you're better. Um, So we're going to get straight into it. Okay. Portia, we've been kicking it off camera a little bit. We but have. We're going to do it more formal now. Let's do it. Uh, First off, where are you from? I've been hearing an accent so far. Okay. Well, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Oh. Triple D, stand up. I'm Harley home, but always repping. Okay. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about these two helmets on my um thing? Um, you know, this shit got me tense, to be yeah. honest with you. That's why I had to put that's why I had to do this with the wine, because like, why are you gonna do that to me? Like, don't do that. Well, I'll say this about me being an Eagles fan and you being a Cowboys fan. I'm listening. First and foremost, we both were some trash this year. We both ended up being the biggest biggest embarrassments of the NFL, losing in the first round. So I do you agree or disagree? All I have to say is, I mean, I don't even really know what to say. Like, we both were trash. Yeah. We both were good in the regular season, but I'm saying. We were. As far as people expecting us to go far in the playoffs, neither one of us did. We both fell short in the first round. Mm -hmm. Tomato, tomato. We're both trash. Yeah, but the thing is, I feel like when it comes to y'all Eagle fans, like especially out here in Charlotte, mm -hmm. like y'all go so hard hating uh -huh. the Cowboys, like yeah. listening to the radio and all the trash that they be talking and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just like, you know what, Cowboy fans, like... That's not like for the week being a Cowboys fan. I'd, it's I'd imagine. just not. You I'd know, imagine. you get used to getting let down, but y'all just like go in. Like us, we, you know, it's staying. Yeah, okay, ooh, we get it. But I mean, shit, we ain't been shit for a minute. Mm -hmm. Y'all Eagles fans are just like, y'all just won a Super Bowl like last year. Like, how many y'all got? Y'all only got one. Well, like, catch up. Yes, we have one. You know, you, but you gotta catch up. we were of age to witness our Super Bowl. That's the difference. How old were you when y'all? How old were you in 1995? The thing is, we have five. You have one. When y'all gonna catch up? How old were you? When y'all gonna Portia catch up? in 1995. Why are you trying to give these people my business? Were you were you were you old enough to drink in 1995? No, that's the difference. In 2018, I mm -hmm. was drunk off my ass mm -hmm. in the car on the top of a car mm -hmm. riding down Broad Street. That's fine. That's the difference. When y'all won y'all Super Bowl, okay. majority of y'all uh -huh. weren't born. Okay. And some of y'all were in diapers. So you don't even remember it. Or if you do, it's a very vague memory. I understand that. But if mm -hmm. we're going to bring up old shit, mm -hmm. we got five. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing. Twenty year, twenty plus years later, when are y'all gonna catch up? We, like it's two thousand twenty four. You talk about nineteen ninety four. We don't bring up old shit. We you, talk about you present. You brought up old shit. You was drunk. You mm -hmm. was this. Mm -hmm. You was that. That's fine. Okay. You got one. You got one in your Six lifetime. Years. You got one in your lifetime. I'm get five. No, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna tell you right now. Get five. I'm gonna end it at this. I'm gonna. And then I'll let you go. I'll take one. Uh -huh. That I was able to remember. Calm down now. Over five Calm that down my now. parents we lived did through. Just tear that ass up. To not, us? not, not too long ago. It was we one and one, and we beat y'all the first time. We tore that one. ass up though. Listen, we is, told. Listen, the way that y'all beat us, cool. Yeah, but we tore that ass. ass up. Y'all kicked our so, ass. So we got five our... Super Bowls. You got one. Y'all okay. Kicked... Let's talk about this. You season. beat us barely, barely, legally. Y'all barely beat us. The Chiefs barely beat us. 
up. Barely don't count in the Told NFL. that ass up. And then what happened? Y'all lost in the first round like always. So all I'm saying is this. We both were some ass this year. Eagles, Eagles fans are always going to hate the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys fans are always going to hate the Eagles. That's how it's supposed to be. Facts. All right? So I'm glad we got that out the way. Me too. Um, <laughs> yeah, right? got a little hot, didn't More it? More hot? What's yeah. this up in here? Uh, are you good? Before we shot, someone like was blowing you up, and I think I heard like a memo say, stop ignoring my fucking calls. Are you safe right now? Oh, I am safe. All right. He's out of town, so I'm safe. Mm. Mm. Don't be having nobody pop up to my studio. It ain't even that. You know, you like, you ever had to break up with somebody and they ain't trying to break up with you? <laughs> That's what I got going on. So I even got him blocked. Mm-hmm. And then he's calling me from like a Massachusetts number. Mm-hmm. And it's just Is like, he from Massachusetts? No, he's from Brooklyn. <laughs> so like, Even worse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I try to break up with him. He's not trying to break up with me, but we safe. We good. Listen, I do my research on people that come on my show. So I'm listening. I did see you were in New York not too long ago. Was that the reason for? Yes. Okay. Did you have a good time at least then? We did. Um, so I just told you I'm from Texas. I never had a fur. So I had told him I really wanted a fur. Mm-hmm. So we went to New York and I wanted to see the ball drop. Okay. So we drove out there December 31st. Got there around 10. Mm-hmm. Um, went right to Central Park, which and they had everything blocked off. But yeah, mm-hmm. it was a beautiful time. I got a fur. I got a chance to see a lot of things. And um, I love New York with yeah. or without him. Like, I love New York. New York yeah. niggas, they different. From Texas, when New York you know, people are different, yes, very much so. Completely different from yeah. you know what I'm used to, but yeah. when I'm in New York, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like this the whole time. Like, yeah. you know, it's so much. So, yeah, I love New York. Do you remember the first time you went to New York City? I do remember the first time I went there. How old were you? Uh, I think I was like 21, 22. Oh, that's a good age. Yes. What was it like? It was amazing. Yeah. It was absolutely amazing. I got super drunk yeah. in Times Square. Um, I was out there with some people, and they was doing their thing, so I got a chance to meet a lot of people. Yeah. Um, New York is always a vibe. It's it always a vibe. Yeah. I love New York. I remember the first time I seen it. I was like 11. Okay. Because my stepdad is from New York. He's from Uptown. Okay. D- Dykeman, to be specific. Shout out to Dykeman, 200. Um, he's Dominican. So... You know, he took us through there, you know, showed us his hood. It's just We just went up. We went through, I think we were in Brooklyn, okay. went through the Bronx, and then Uptown. Did we go to Brooklyn? I don't know. But, um, yeah, I was, like you said, fascinated. Like, you're just looking up the whole time like, wow. Oh, yeah. I knew the first time. I was like, I have to live out here at some point. Yes. Yeah. I went to school out there. Then after that, I was like, all right. I love New York. I couldn't live there right now, but right. I love New York as well. So. Yeah. So, you took the, is dude, does he live in Brooklyn? No, he lives here in Charlotte now. Okay, so y'all took a nice little trip to yeah, yeah. So y'all took a New York trip. Yeah. I mean, New Year New Year's was only what less than a month ago. Like, yeah. how did it? What? How did it go? How did it go so sour? If you want to talk about it. Um. Let's see. So it's just like me. I'm the type like either I'm obsessed with you or mm-hmm. I'm off you. I'm an Aquarius too. Okay. And he just was doing like me. I'm a I'm an overthinker as well. So he just was moving in ways that I just really didn't respect. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like for me, I don't care how you look. I don't care how much money you have. I really care about your integrity. I really like, you know, just having somebody next to me that I can learn from, yeah. somebody that can inspire me to be better. And I'm I'm a dreamer as well. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And so when I start pairing myself with someone and I feel like, one, they doing more talking than they doing, you know, dreaming mm-hmm. or they doing to like put in the work to, you know, get somewhere. Mm-hmm. To me, that just is a big, it's a turn off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like my so, pussy going to go dry if mm-hmm. I know that, okay, you want to do this, you want to do this, you want to do that. But no action. You're waking up every day watching YouTube all day long. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that shit just started turning me off and it got to a point where like, really, you're not special. Two, you really not that smart. And three, you lazy. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like, how can I get somewhere with somebody like that? Yeah. You know? Like Bernie Mac said, talking ain't nothing but bullshit. That's it. Talking ain't like, nothing but bullshit. That's it. And I'm a grown-ass woman. I can't be with you just talking at this point. Like, we got to make some. Well, to circle back to the very beginning when you asked, have you ever seen or dealt with someone where you break up with them but they don't want to break up with you? I always say that the most dangerous, dangerous, the most dangerous, <laughs> <laughs> the most dangerous thing 
on this planet Earth mm -hmm. more dangerous than any great white shark, mm -hmm. any lion, tiger, bear, anything, is a man mm. who cannot let go of a woman who was trying to break up with him. That, that nigga will walk through Antarctica butt naked after jumping in a pool just to fight another dude with a toothpick. I mean... I've been in, I've been in the middle of situ bullshit situations like that where I caught up, where I was caught off guard because she has a dude that she left somewhat time ago but he ain't trying to get over her and he popping up on us and you see red in their eyes like dude tried to kill me I ain't even gonna hold you I ain't getting into details oh, yeah so like that's that's why I ask like if you really have someone pop up here because if so I would have let Desi ass out on his ass first and foremost oh you ain't gotta worry about that All right. you ain't gotta worry about nothing you All ain't right. gotta worry about nothing what something high waiting for his ass. <sighs> Don't have nobody popping up. Niggas be crazy. Let me tell you, you ain't got to worry about that. And you that. say you're from Brooklyn, I hope you stay safe. I'm going to just, I hope, I hope. You well, know, I'm so. from Texas. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I'm from Texas, yeah. Bitch, I'm from Texas. We always ready to go. We always yeah, ready to be, go. Yeah, y'all do be strapped in Texas. But it ain't even that type of situation. It's just, you know, I feel like how you say, like, you met a girl and she was trying to break up with someone. Mm-hmm. For her to get to that point where she was breaking up with him, he didn't show that he was, like, for real about her until she left. So while she was in a relationship with him, nine times out of ten, he wasn't on her like that. Mm, but once he, once she but tried the thought to that, damn, she not on me like that and she gonna give somebody else that, that's what keep a nigga up in the middle of the night. I think that's a, uh, you, I think man or woman, like that's a human trait that we want what we can't have. Mm -hmm. Have you ever found yourself like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I slide in celebrities' DMs all the time. I be waiting on their relationships to like fuck up, like all that. Like who? Shit, I done slid. Okay, talk, talk about it. Oh, Just give me a few see. examples. All right, so Raymond Santana, he's a central one of the Central Park Five dudes. Mm -hmm. Like when I seen the whole Netflix documentary, mm -hmm. I was like, damn, mm -hmm. I ain't never had no light skin. I ain't never you had. You said no earlier you don't like light skin. I don't, but he's not your ordinary light skin. What makes him different? Central Park Five, like this guy. I know a what happened, but history. I didn't watch it. Oh, because he's a part of the situation. He's a part of history. You know what I'm saying? Has anyone ever responded? You slid in multiple. Oh, me and him done hung out. We done had a good time. Oh, y'all actually went. I was literally when I saw the the, the documentary, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um, at the time he was married to Delicious, mm -hmm. and I like Delicious. I think she's a gorgeous from, girl. From, from Flavor, Flavor of Love. Love. Okay. That, I mean, it's a vague memory. I was 12. But yeah. I know who she is. Yeah, right, right, right. And so I'm not a home wrecker. Mm -hmm. But I just kind of, for me personally, I just felt like it wasn't going to work. It just was, you know. It just, okay, Alicia Keys. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't going to work. So Wait, when, you DM'd him while he was with Delicious? No. Okay, after they broke up. So as soon as I seen on Shade Room that they broke up, I slid. Boom. Boom. Had my ass in Atlanta that very next weekend. Really? Oh, we had a great time. You like that? I don't okay, bullshit. I don't fuck around with the fuck sure. around. Okay, oh, I, when sure. I see I slide, I slide. Yeah. I slide. Okay. Like, I slide. You had a good old time? Oh, we had a great time. We still friends to this day. Nice, nice. Oh, that's, yeah. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Do you do you have sex with your friends? Mm, I don't. Have you ever? Is that like a... I accidentally fucked one of my friends. Yeah. And, yeah. and when I say friends, I don't mean like best friends. No, but no, no. someone that you call your friend. Yes. Y'all can hang out. Y'all can chop yes. it up. But y'all give each other orgasms as well. Yes. Yeah. You said okay. you only did once. Or you have once? Yeah. 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 How was it afterwards? It was awkward. Mm. It was, And it was a girl. And I didn't even know she was gay. So in my mind, I like girls that haven't realized they like girls. Okay. And she was like my Michelle Obama friend. Like, I like to call her that because she's like married and she's happy and no other man is like attracted to her and her husband is just amazing. Okay. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, bitch, I'm going to get you. I'm, I'm going to get your ass. Like, I'm going to sit back in the cut, but I'm going to fuck you. Oh, so you, this was uh, preconceived notions. Or in my mind, that's what, you know, it, yeah. I, I drink Don Julio and Patron. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when that shit get to going, it be like, you know what? Yeah, bitch, you so happy. Yeah, okay. Like, I got something <laughs> for your happy ass. And then, you know, I ended up fucking her. 
And the what next, do you mean by you and like how was it when you say you ended up fucking her? Like oh, was it so were y'all was it y'all just giving each other head? No, was it a strap? How did it go? No, 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 I don't detail, use please? no strap or nothing like that. So long story short, we had been going out, drinking the whole day or whatever. And um, like I said, she's like my Michelle Obama homegirl. Mm-hmm. She wears skirts down here. Mm-hmm. She don't, you know what I'm saying? She yeah. ain't no hood rat kind of girl. She yeah. wears pearls. She's really sophisticated. Yeah. And um, so I was, she was, um, we was driving in my car and we left her car at like stats or somewhere. And I used to okay. street from stats. Yeah. So I was taking her back to her car and she was like, well, damn, I ain't ready to go home. And I'm like, well, okay, where bitch, where you want to go? Mm-hmm. Like it's three o'clock in the morning in mm-hmm. Charlotte, where we going? Yeah. And she was like, oh, well, you know, let me just come to your house. Let's just have a drink. And mm-hmm. I'm like, me, I, I don't know. It's just a personal thing. I don't let people in my house. Like, if okay. I let you in my house, like, I'll fuck with you. Fuck with Has you. Has she been in your house before that? No. Okay. And so um, I was in a truck and I was like, you know, we're not going in the house. Mm-hmm. You know, and we were just listening to, like, slow songs for whatever reason. And then mm-hmm. Usher Superstar came on. And she was like, um... So, like, I understand you like girls. Like, are you attracted to me? So she... Opened that can yeah. of worms and... I was like, I mean, you married. Like, why yeah. would I be attracted to you? We home, girls. Yeah. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? Attracted yeah. to you, girl? No. Yeah. And she That's was what like, you said, but in your head. In my head, like, bitch, I'm gonna fuck the shit right, out of you. Right, Give me the chance. Right, right, right. <laughs> and so she was like... um, she was like, so why won't you touch me? And I was like, well, first of all, you're not going upstairs because mm-hmm. I stayed on the second floor. And I was like, but if you get in the back seat, that's a different story. Mm-hmm. She's sophisticated. So mm-hmm. the last thing I thought... Was that she would get in the back seat? In a public parking lot. Uh-huh. She got in that back seat. I towed that ass up. Towed that ass up. Told that ass up. And then what kind of turned me off afterwards is she started crying and was like, oh my God, I'm married. And, oh blah, 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 blah. and I'm like, wait a minute, bitch, I'm not even that gay. Uh, you wanted this. You started You it. wanted this. Yeah. And then it was awkward because like we hadn't hung out for like maybe like a month after that. Mm-hmm. And then so she invited me to a little dessert spot with another mutual homegirl. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking there's nothing of it. I done forgot all about it. Yeah. After, you know, we finished up at the dessert spot, she, like, walking me to my car. Mm-hmm. Uptown Charlotte. Mm-hmm. We had Cray. Okay. And I'm thinking nothing of it. Yeah. I'm on my way to a dick appointment. Yeah. And she's like, uh, she gets in my car. And I'm like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Bitch, I got a dick appointment. Yeah. Like, what you yeah. got going on? And I was like, listen, I ain't got a lot of time, but if you want to do something, you could take off your clothes and get in the back seat. Uh-huh. She had on jeans and a belt. Yeah. Took them shits off like pootie tang, quick. Backseat. Damn. Public man. parking. What? And now I got to show up to my dick appointment with my mouth smelling like pussy, my hands smelling like pussy. Yeah. It was, it was the worst. Well, she got a dosage of it and she ain't want to let it go. Shit. It be like that. Yeah. But after that, I, I couldn't fuck her no more. Because then she started telling our mutual homegirls like, you know, if you fuck with Portia, then you got to let me know. And it's just like, first of all, I'm not even that gay. Stop doing that. I eat pussy from time to time. She got sprung yeah, off the sometimes tongue. Sometimes I got a taste for sushi. Sometimes, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I love sushi. Sometimes I want a tuna sandwich every now and again. I don't know about but the tuna. you can't eat tuna every day. Yeah. That's bad for you. Yeah, that's a lot of aluminum. Mercury, Mercury. and all that bullshit, yeah, you know? You yeah. Like, then you can't be telling my niggas and then my other friends. Yeah. We don't go together. Right. So after that, I stopped fucking my friends because it was it was horrible. She got a divorce now, too. And she's dating a girl. <sighs> Were you the first girl she messed with? She say that, but she was in the army. Uh, you know, I, I've heard about you army. Know I've heard saying? about army women. Mm, I don't trust bitches. I've heard about army women. Oh, okay, so yeah, she definitely she definitely messed with women before, but you brought it back like you like brought that like spark back to her. And I didn't and like she the got fact that on. when I was getting it in with her, she was like, no strap. So I'm just eating pussy, mm-hmm. a little finger action, whatever. Mm-hmm. I always keep a nail broke, so mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And it was like, okay, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I got to go to my dick appointment. And she's like, well, I didn't come yet. And it's like, come all over my hands, uh, all over my face. And it's like, bitch, you trying to be greedy? You trying to get three, four nuts out of me? Yeah. For free? Uh, wow. So I stopped doing that. Well, let's talk about that okay. since you brought it up. What's the difference as far as women? What's the difference between coming and having an orgasm? Mm. Well, me... Like, when I'm with a girl, Mm -hmm. I don't like a girl to touch me at all. 
I like I'm so a pleaser. So you do everything? Yeah, I'm like a pleaser. Okay, so you get off of pleasing someone else. Absolutely. Okay, I get Absolutely. that. I get that. Um, for me, honestly, I don't think I ever really like had an orgasm with a guy. Really? Like to me, orgasm has like feelings behind it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like if I orgasm with you, like it's gotta be something. It's emotional and spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I gotta see you wanting me and craving me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the more that you doing that, the more that I'm gonna feel. You know, men, they just kind of, at least the niggas I've dealt with, they, you know, they kind of out for themselves. They don't really care too much about, you know what I'm saying? You getting yours. Mm. And so, like, a man, I'll come, you know what I'm saying? But a woman, I'm going to need a nap after this orgasm. Wait, so if women don't please you, if you don't like women to please you, then how do you have a, or touch you, how do you have an orgasm with a woman? By being pleased, by by watching her being pleased. Like, oh, so when a girl be... is like going crazy, her eyes is doing crazy shit, her legs is doing crazy shit, her pussy, her pussy got shit coming out of it. Mm-hmm. To me, that shit is like, ooh, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh... This It's just like sitting there just like... I could just come just thinking thinking about it. Yeah. Like it's so exciting. Yeah. Like me and sometimes they're well, a little bored. Pr- prove it. Really think about it. Let's see what happens. Yes. No, I'm saying right now, prove it. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do Not that. Not playing. But um, Don't do that. <laughs> okay. All right. And see, I ask that because I like to ask damn near, you know, a lot of women that, and it's very subjective with women. Mm. Just orgasms in general are subjective. I think coming can, like you said, it can happen. You know what I'm saying? It can happen pretty easily, like if you fucking a woman. But like yeah. orgasms is different. How you said oh, yours comes different. from like the pleasure from seeing someone else, and it's more so like a visual for you. Mm-hmm. I know some girls that only have orgasms from getting head. Mm-hmm. I know some girls that can easily have an orgasm from getting fucked. I know, bro, I dealt with this one chick. Mm-hmm. She had an orgasm for me sucking her titties. Really? That shit had my dick so fucking hard. She was sensitive. Yeah, I loved it. She had big ass titties too. She must didn't have no kids. At the time, no. Okay, because once you kids have now. kids, you know what I'm saying? That shit is like a job. Getting oh, really? your titties suck like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's like manual labor. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, my God. This uh, shit again? So, yeah. Yeah, mm. it was before she had kids. Did she have like those big, like, Dumb like nipples or nah, like, like the, the little titties tiny ones. and nipples were perfect. They weren't teeny tiny. They was like in the in the middle. Like average. Yeah, they were average. Okay. They were average. I've dealt with some like knockers. <laughs> not even knockers, <laughs> like nipples. I've dealt with some um like fucking like long, not yeah, I guess you could say long. Some some long. Like milk duds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then I've dealt with like the little dot, the candy dots, the gumdrops. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with dots. I like those. Yeah, I'm I'm a titty bull, so I like titties in general. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like a, a a northern or like east coast thing. It's like a titty thing. Really? Yes. Like down south, we like booty. Like every man I know like booty. Well, don't get it fucked up. I love ass too. Yeah, but I love ass too. But I, I like feel titties. Like Northerners like my baby daddy. He was like a titty man. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was like titties. Like I don't know. I don't know. What titties. It is. I love titties. Titties? Like, have you seen his ass lately? Oh, I, I don't. I, I never it. neglect. Like, if if like she's like flat back and has titties, then I can't do it. Okay. Nah, I'm not saying titties is all I need, but okay. like if she has a nice body and okay. some titties, mm-hmm. I'm in there like draws. What about fat ass and like no titty, big nipple? I'm still in there like draws. Fuck it. Yeah, like the ass is first always. Okay. But I think that just can go without being said. Yeah. That's why I'm saying, like, I That's love titties, too. universal language. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, for us. Well, not white people, too, because them slave masters used to... Love some ass. Yeah. Yeah. Them dirty motherfuckers. Mm. All right. Um. So you are featured or featuring on Real Side Chicks of Charlotte. Yes. Can you explain that a little bit, please? Yes. So, um... It's been something I've been wanting to be a part of for a minute um, since I moved to Charlotte. But a lot of things kind of slowed down with COVID and all that good stuff. So I um, actually got a chance to be a part of the cast. I'm super duper excited. Um, well, let's, uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. But I know they're thinking this too. Side Chicks of Charlotte. Mm-hmm. The title of it, like, where did the show come from? Like, where is it featured on? And why is it called Side Chicks of Charlotte? Like, now, that is a good question because, truthfully, I don't think any of the girls that's, like, on the cast that's been on there mm-hmm. 
are like technically side chicks. When I first thought of it, mm -hmm. or when I first like wanted to be a part of it, it was more of like in my mind, like okay, these are the side chicks of like the NBA players in Charlotte uh -huh. or the NFL players uh -huh. or something like that. But these chicks are like their own bosses. You know, they happen to have a couple, you know, men that are kind of known in Charlotte and stuff like that. But it ain't like they playing this specific role. So I don't really okay. know, really like the, the emphasis on the name of it or, mm -hmm. the, you know, what the creator was thinking about when they named it that. Mm -hmm. But I think it's catchy. I think, yeah, it's, it I think it's really, really Science interesting. And I think just with the whole sneaky link thing being so popular now and stuff yeah. like that, it's intriguing to the right audience. It so is. I think it's a great business marketing. Yeah, it's definitely strategy. a marketing tool. So, okay. I just didn't know if like you went into it kind of being no. cool with being labeled a side chick. I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, well, I Well, have you ever like been a side chick? I have. I've been a side chick. I've been a sneaky link. I've been, um, I've been pretty much labeled everything. And I feel like if you know who you are and you true to who you are, mm -hmm. like I feel like sometimes I be telling men, like, y'all be messing with women thinking every woman wants y'all to be they like boyfriend. Yeah. We think just like y'all, sometimes we just don't say it because mm -hmm. it doesn't make us look good. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Oh shoot. So every, I mean, every woman, every woman got a few lunchables in the fridge. That's what I'm saying. Like men. The men that I know, they take pride in being my side niggas. You know mm. what I'm saying? They take pride. They know their position. They know when and when not to call. They know what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They respect my situation. And I feel like when you get a chick who take pride in being a side chick, mm -hmm. and she's properly, she she's confident in a sense where she's not trying to be number one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't act out because you got some side chicks that they get out wanna of line. get out of line. They get out of line. No, 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 no. Know your position. Up. Yeah, and take pride in it. Yeah, you gotta be comfortable with it. And then you know what? The benefits when you play your position right, they're unlimited. Who has the better benefits, the side chick or the main? Piece? Ooh, that's a good question. But I always say this. You know what? It depends on the, on the man because some men they don't know who to put number one. They can have a wife at home cooking and cleaning with the kids, mm -hmm. treating them wrong, neglecting them, and then taking the side chicks out, buying her bags, taking her here, taking her there. Mm -hmm. To me, that's not right. Yeah, I was going to say, that's where he fucks up. That's I think where if he you, messes up. I think if you feed a side chick with wifey energy, mm -mm. then, I mean, it don't matter how well she knows her role. If you feed her that it's gonna energy. It's going to confuse her. Exactly. It's going to confuse her. Me, yeah. don't confuse me. Yeah. Let me know every Wednesday, 4 o'clock. Uh-huh. Let me know, okay, bitch. Don't post this. Mm -hmm. Don't post that. Yeah. Don't call this time. Don't call that time. The game is the game. As long as you have discipline and you know where to put each player, mm -hmm. the team gonna work. Yeah. Long as you have discipline, but men sometimes you know that that thing get to thrive in. Yeah, greedy. And, and 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 that side chick coochie just hit different. You know what I'm saying? How that side chick head hit different. And they go back home and they like, and I'd rather be with Portia, man. Fuck this shit. This bitch ain't got the washing machine trick like Portia. But no, you got to keep Portia on the side. I'm only available to you on Wednesdays. Yeah. Because I'm booked too. Right. You know what I'm saying? What's the washing so, machine trick? I got to show you. I can't tell you. Okay. Yeah, it it just involves a lot of like saliva and noises and things of that sort. But it'll fuck your life up. Is I'm trying to envision it. Washing machine spins a lot. So like, a whole lot. Oh, uh, okay. So are you, you like just, you just okay? You yeah, just going that. crazy. You're doing you neck just roll. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Back and forth. Yeah. You know, left to right. You mm -hmm. might hold it up, do the balls. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? A little dry cleaning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta. You can't just wash the outside of the shirt. You gotta go inside of it too. You know what I'm saying? I might throw it on your Yo, shoulder a little dry bit. Dry cleaning is mean, crazy. Men are visual. <laughs> they like something to look at. So that washing machine, so they hear it, they yeah. see it. You want to know it's something? A when I first started getting ahead, I didn't used to look because I felt like I was like awkward and I was kind of really? embarrassing her. Yeah, I mean, mind you, I was like a teenager, but like yeah. I would like not look. Like, yeah. and then when she would look at me, I kind of look away, <laughs> like trying to play it off and shit. But now. Oh, man. I ain't gonna put, lie. Put, put on a masterpiece for me. Like, if I look at you in your eyes while I'm giving you head, 
Honestly, I could come off of just looking at you because, yeah. like I said, I'm a pleaser. Yeah. So if I see you and you sitting there like, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's rap for me. Ooh. That's okay. a rap. It don't even take much. Yeah. It don't even take much. But um, yeah, if I look at you in your eyes, like we we got something going. And that's what and that's really what we mean when we say snatch our soul. Mm -hmm. Like, cause like if I'm looking at you and then you doing what you're doing, plus your eyes, and then you really pleasing and you look up, that's oh, yeah. gonna snatch us. That's at least for me, that's gonna snatch my soul every time. Oh yeah. Every time. I love that. Like I said, you like some men, they have like these faces. Mm -hmm. And they just, you know what I'm saying? They know that they not making this face. What do you like hearing the best? Or what do you like hearing the most from us? Moaning or words? I like a little bit of both. Like B-O-F-F. -F. I'm going to tell you now. And when it's really hitting. Yeah. You know what we say when it's really hitting? What's that? Oh, fuck, yo. Hear that, that fuck? <laughs> that fuck. <laughs> Where you just know you're helpless. Mm. <laughs> like, you be like, fuck, bro. God damn. I know when I'm, like, doing a good job, when I can feel... Like, mm. men, like, y'all booty so little, and y'all thighs, like... Tenses. Tits up. Mm. So I know y'all booty cheeks is like, oh, you know, they we try could, to hold it, try to hold could, it. We, uh, head is really good. Yes. <laughs> when... <laughs> It has you tensing up, and when you get up, you snatch the sheets the off. The sheets gone. <laughs> like, why'd you take the whole sheet off? That's just selfish. <laughs> now you got me ass on mattress. Oh, like, shit. Now you selfish. But that's when I know I'm doing a good job. But I like to be talked to. I like I like mm -hmm. role playing. I like yeah. all that freaky shit. Like, to me, like, just let me know where we going. Let me know where we going with this. Yeah. How about toys? I actually am not a toy person. I don't even own one toy. Not one. Not one. Okay, so again, you're not crazy about a woman at least going down on you. So you're not, it's truly just a pleasing yes. thing for you. Portia the pleaser. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Well, um, a brand that I really like. Okay. Because I'm not big on, I don't, I don't own sex toys either. But okay. sex oils. I'm good. Okay. I like oils. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I like to give massages. Okay. Baby oil. You ever had baby oil sex? No, it's I'm clumsy. Uh, it, I'm, yeah, it can oh. be slippery. It can get slippery. I'm clumsy. It clumsy. can get slippery. I might it dislocate something. Yeah. Then, get then we gotta go to the ER. Yeah. Like it, it you can, know, it can no. Get, it can get slippery. But I do like massage oils. Like one thing, me getting older is realizing, and I mess with older men too. Mm-hmm. They got all kind of like joint problems and problems with their back and stuff like that. And you can have a bomb ass conversation. You can have some bomb ass head. But if you could rub his back good enough, mm -hmm. he ain't going to never forget you. A good massage will do it. He ain't going to never good forget you. A good massage. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And bomb head. What? Like, it's this one chick back home. Like, she would always want to give me a massage. Mm. And I just thought that shit was so sexy. And mm. then, like, she'll be turned over. She'll be like, turn over. Then she'll give me a massage on my quad. Mm. And then work my work her way up. And then chew me up crazy. Let me tell you. Yeah, she stayed around for a minute. I'm trying to tell you. So, yeah, you got to keep something nice like that. Like yeah. me. Well, what do you use for massage oil? Me? Mm -hmm. I, I order my shit, like, off of Amazon or whatever. Yeah. But, like. I just throw on some like common music, maybe with like the rainfall. And that's always been like a sexual fantasy for me. Yeah. Like in my mind, like just have like a whole massage type of vibe going on. Eat his ass up. Yeah. Eat him up. Yeah. Because yeah, that's yeah. really what he thinking the whole time, especially the closer and closer you get to that dick. He's thinking that. He might not be saying Rottweiler. that. Rottweiler. But he's thinking that. Well, a massage oil that I would love for you to actually check out and try out. Okay. Uh, this is Haru, H-A-R-U. It is a sexual okay. wellness brand. Okay. Because, you know, a lot of people act funny when it comes to sex. Like, we have sex. We like to spice up sex. What the fuck is the point of acting all nonchalant Bougie about it? Bougie exactly. like that. Bougie. No, have fun. Yeah, so this right here is a CBD-infused oh. stress feed massage oil. Can I like have yes. some on my Yes, you want to try it out? Can I can I I might be a little ashy in between my titty wanna, or whatever. You want to sample you, it on yourself? You, you want to sample on me? Yeah, I will. Okay, cool. It's just you know like the crack of the titty or whatever. I was just listening to that song and he was like, "Have you ever, 
you know, fuck the girl, her booty crack was like dry. <laughs> so I feel like my titty crack might be a little dry. So if you want to put a little bit on there. So like I said, it's CBD infused. It's going to get me high? No. But it's very good for like CBD infused, like massage oil is good for like just kind of relaxing relaxing the body, okay. insinuating the body. I like that. I'm excited. Does it smell good too? Let me open it first. That might have been smart, right? It, it does I smell know. good. It does. I love things that smell good. Ooh, you're going to love the way this smells. Check that out. Oh, mm. Is that mm. lavender? It is. That's you have a good really nose. Come on, you have man. a really good nose. I'm tense. Like, I feel so Let's angry. try it out. What do you want of that? Like, all in my titty crack right here. Mm -hmm. My booty ashy, too. Well, maybe if the camera's raw. <laughs> I think my booty crack might be a little ashy. Yeah. yeah. Is that an invitation? Mm, it might be. I'm going to keep it PG 13. Please do. I'm going to try Please. my best, too. See, your skin it. feels so much softer. It feels so good. Yeah. I could go to sleep right now. Yeah. My neck a little ashy too. Portia is getting the full Haru experience, yo. It would be a full massage if I had nothing but deodorant on. This is like, I like massages. It smells so good. Would you recommend this for the audience? I would very much so recommend this for anybody. Yeah. Like. Not only the ashy people and the weed heads, but like anybody who just want to smell good, who want to feel good. I feel so sexy with you rubbing this right now. Oh, and you got nice hands. Yeah, leave me alone because it's been a minute and I'd have been watching Pornhub all day. Yeah. So don't don't do that to me. It don't take much. I'm gonna lift. Oh God, my, my mouth is watering and everything. I can't even. Y'all come get this oil. This is the Hyru Intimacy Warm Warming Oil. So what you just so what you just got a sample of was the massage oil. Okay. And also what they have is the Insatiate X Intimacy Oil. Insatiate. Insatiate. That's a big old word. It is. It's a sexy <laughs> word too. It is. So with the massage oil, of course, that's for massaging any part of the body. Mm. You just got like a you know good sample. We could have went deeper on the surface, but we on camera, so we gotta keep it PG thirteen. <laughs> but the Insatiate Intimacy Oil. Now this, uh -huh. it can be used to help with lubrication, but it's not a lube oil, okay. if you would. But it just takes a few drops, boom. You can mm -hmm. use this for self-pleasure or for foreplay. And again, it's CBD infused, 400, okay. 400 milligrams to be exact. Okay. You can use it you on any part of the body, including it's safe for inside male and female genitals. I was just about to say, I'm trying to like get into this anal thing. Mm -hmm. If I had something to relax me and lubricate me at the same time, mm -hmm. I think that might be perfect. I think this is what you need. And then you could just do a couple drops, like just literally a, just a few it's not drops, messy or nothing. just a few drops. Yeah. Rub it in, let it do its thing. Yeah. Use it as foreplay. It gets real sexy. This is what you need. Oh, it relaxes you and it lubricates you. So you start off the night with a nice massage from okay. the massage oil. Okay. And then from there, as you get closer to certain parts that you want to take it up a notch. Okay. You drop a few drops of this and saturate intimacy oil. Okay. And let me tell you, it's a good time. Y'all gonna be on a whole nother level. Oh, a good that? old, good old time. Yeah. And it's CBD infused. Relaxes you. Mm -hmm. I'm relaxed. Yeah. Can you hear it in my voice? I can. It's I'm very really more, I'm very like calm it. now. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm glad you liked it. Mm, I'll like give it. you another one afterwards. I appreciate um, it. Yeah. So. Damn, I don't even know what we were talking about before then, do you? Me either. Yeah. That, that just, massage was crazy. Yeah, just I took feel so somewhere. good right now. I know you look good in the cameras right now, mm. too. I know you just shining and glistening. Y'all see them coconuts? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't want to get out too much. Mm. I feel good, though. Scrumptious. Mm. Brrrrumpski. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, that was a hell of... Hey, listen. <sighs> that was a hell of an ad that I just gave them, folks. Shout out to Haru on the rail. Because, Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, because I've been sampling the uh, Insatiate Intimacy Oil. I sampled it on myself. Mass, and again, like I said, it's a sexual wellness brand, which I appreciate because, you know, with this, you can use to masturbate. 
masturbation is. Mm. I hate when people try to look down or frown upon or act funny towards masturbation. Is that your dude? Oh, no. That might be. Is like, that Brooklyn? That might be Brooklyn. That massage was crazy. My titties feel better. I feel like I got brand new titties. Yeah. Yes. Do, you, do your nipples get hard when you get horny? Extremely hard. Were you hard just it. now? They were. Yeah. I should have went over them. Anyways. So, you said you you said you love to masturbate? I do. I think yeah. it's healthy. I think, like, Literally for me, like, it just clears my mind. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it just really clears my mind. I got to get one in before, like, I get up. I have my coffee and stuff like that for work. Yeah. And then it's like, I got to get one in before I go to bed. You know what I'm saying? It just relaxes me. It helps me think clear. Mm -hmm. And it ain't too many, like, consequences of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me, like, dudes laugh about it, but I call it jacking off. Like, masturbation, that's cool. I jack off. Okay? You jack off? I jack off. So how do you off. masturbate? You rub one out? I get me one out. Yeah. At least twice a day. I'm saying, like, literally, how do you like? How do you personally masturbate? You, so cause you I don't like have, to masturbate have on my stomach, and I don't ever go inside. I've never felt the inside of myself. I just, I'm just like a rubber. Like okay. it doesn't just take much. Clip. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Wait, well, but... you like to masturbate on your stomach? So laying down on your stomach, mm -hmm. and you like reaching behind and playing mm -hmm. with yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why on your stomach? What's the significance behind that? I don't it's just like a comfort thing, I think. Yeah. Like just me being on my stuff. Like that's just that's how I sleep. That's how I relax. That okay. just is comforting to me. But yes, like I ain't gotta worry about getting no STD. I ain't gotta worry about getting pregnant. I ain't gotta worry about you catching no extra feelings. I ain't gotta worry about because nine times out of ten, I may or may not come with you. Mm -hmm. But I know if I jack off, guaranteed. So you're saying nine times out of ten with men, you mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not gonna usually come. don't. So what is it that what, what's the lack of there that doesn't mm -hmm. lead to you coming? And we're talking about coming, not even having an orgasm. Orgasm is a whole different yeah, conversation, whole right? Different world. Um, so, coming, like I just feel like men. Like I said, like I won't say men. The men I've dealt with, mm -hmm. um, they get so excited. I guess you know. From the head and everything else to where when it's time to actually fuck, like it's not like you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's not to 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 me. It's 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 a lot of like just him trying not to come too quick, or mm -hmm. it's so much thought behind it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Okay, okay. And I like when just you can bit. just free your mind. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, I will say this as a man: if you go into a battle ill prepared, mm -hmm. then your sink will ship. Your your ship, ship will, will sink. sink. Okay. Quick, quick. Like you have to prepare. However, that is like me personally. Like if I know I'm ready to get some ass, I'm a jack off that morning. I do the same thing. If yeah. I know I'm about to fuck a nigga, like I'm a I'm a jack off before I go over there. Yeah. Oh, before. Okay. Whoa. Just in case. Okay. Oh, so you don't you don't want to come early? Why no. Not? Why not? What's wrong with that? No. But y'all can reload and no, keep going. No, because some 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 dudes can't reload like that. And yeah, I'm saying, I like women old can. men. Oh, yeah, women, we can, but for me, like, after that first one, I'm going to see mm, how you react. Okay, got you, got you. Um, But, yeah, so if you, and then some, I used to do this, I'm not going to lie, I don't drink Henny no more, so I can say it now. Henny will, like, if you, if say if I'm going to get some ass, I didn't jack off that morning, I didn't jack off for a minute, and I'm like, damn, I don't want to come quick. Mm -hmm. I used to take shots of Henny. Henny, at least for me, goes straight to my Johnson. Straight to him. Oh, I don't like Henny Dick. Don't Why? give me no Henny Dick. Why? Because I don't want to be fucking you for 20 hours. Well, see, it's it's yeah, it's moderations. Like, you can't get drunk off of Henny. It's just a few shots. For me, it would be like three or four shots. Mm -hmm. Golden. Golden. I would still feel it, but it wouldn't be as mm -hmm. sensitive. Mm -mm. But, um... Mm -hmm. I want to please you. So if you damn near mm -hmm. numb, mm -hmm. what are we doing? No, you feel it still. Just not as much. Exactly. Yeah. No, I want you yeah. hype. Yeah. So since I don't really drink like that now, what I do is again, like I said, it has to be the morning before. Okay. That but makes I. Sense. But I will say. Well, let me ask you this first. What's worse, when a dude nuts too fast or can't get hard? Ooh, that is a really, really good question. Um, I think a can't get hard is the worst. Mm. Because for women, like, we automatically need that, like, validation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we let me tell that. you, a lot of times, a lot of instances, like, if we can't get hard, it don't even be y'all. And that's what I've learned. Mm -hmm. uh, like, 
just being friends with a lot of men. But a woman never thinks that. She yeah, think automatically in our mind is something wrong with us. Is mm -hmm. he? Are we not turning yeah, him on? Yeah, yeah. Like what? What is? Where is the flaw? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We think that automatically. I know it's never that though. It's it's mentally and you know I'm I'm speaking from experience. It's, yeah. I think any dude that says he's been in a situation where he never got hard that he came too early, mm -hmm. he's either bullshitting or hasn't been around him and he you know what I'm saying hasn't gotten enough ads to really gauge it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Probably like two bodies or whatever. Right. I've done both before. I'm gonna keep it on it. Right. But anytime <clears throat> for the most part if it's like I couldn't guard, it's just I was attracted to her. It was just something mental, whatever mm -hmm. the fuck mm -hmm. it was, whatever right. it is. Because with us, our dick to get hard, it's all mental. Right. Y'all get wet like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't even got to really do nothing. Y'all can just lay there and then we touch on y'all or kiss on y'all, whatever. Boom, y'all dead with us. Like it's a mental thing. Right. And sometimes the block, we have no idea where it comes from. And we be sick. Like when that happened to me, I was sick. I'm like, what the fuck? And then you all embarrassed and you got to tell them like, yo, my bad, yo. I promise it's not you. I know you sick right now. It's not you. You look good as shit. I want to tear you up, but it's something going on. I, right. Don't trip. That's the worst part. We got to explain it yeah. to her. And, yeah. yeah. Honestly, if you come too quick, I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself. Mm -hmm. If your dick don't get hard, I'm blocking you before I leave the parking lot. Yeah. I don't need you to explain nothing to me. That ain't got. That ain't my business. I don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's going to cause me self-esteem issues. It's mm. going to cause me to overthink about what mm. I could I could not have done better. Yeah. And I just don't even want to go through that because I'm not even sure if it's even worth it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, no. Nah, like, if you come quick, that that make me feel like I'm the shit. Like, I've had dudes, like, they, they think get hard just with a conversation. And that shit is fucking sexy. Like, so me just talking to you, turning that ass on, just wait till I show you the washing machine trick. Wait till this shit happens. Listen, I'm going to change your life. And no, there's me, pussy here. Let me not tell myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. There's pussy too. Uh -huh. You know, that's sexy. Yeah. Like, now I want to see how long I can make you wait. Mm. But, no, if you can't get hard on, get out of my face. You block. Why are you wasting my time? This is weird. You said you, do you prefer older men now? Honestly, after experiencing them for like the last three, four years, mm -hmm. I'm open to young men. Mm -hmm. I'm open to So them. what's young between what and what? For me, uh, under 40, between 40. Honestly, the last one I hit was 21. How was that? <sighs> it was amazing. Yeah. Because I've been hitting the old men so long. So And they're more I, sensual and slow. Slowly. You got a young stud, 21-year-old. He knocks your rocks off. I wasn't ready. Yeah. I wasn't ready. Mm. You know, when the old man, he come, that's it. You uh. got to feed him. Yeah, and, and that's a wrap. That's a wrap for the next probably 24 to 48 hours. Don't touch him. Don't look at him. Oh, He's I'm done. Old. But a young man, that 21-year-old, mm -hmm. so I'm like doing a washing machine trick, tearing this nigga up. He lasts four minutes. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm the shit. Superhead. Boom. Dick back hard. What is this? Yeah. You mean we can go again tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was excited. Da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> yes, I love these young niggas. I just can't get enough of them. Yeah. So they really like sexual. And then, I mean, like me and my age. I grew up in an era where if men did eat coochie, they didn't brag about it. You know, mm -hmm. they didn't. Mm -hmm. They didn't tell their boys they ate coochie. Mm -hmm. Now these 21-year-olds is like putting their whole tongue up your ass mm -hmm. with no shame. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That it is, hit that is different. That is like they, they a different level of freaky. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I, I went all the way from 55 to 21, and that 21 hit different. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like. So it sounds like you're going to venture more down the early 20 lane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're exciting. They're freaky. They don't mind spending no money on you. you I'm going I'm to I'm bleep it out. How old are you? I'm going to bleep it out. I'm 32. I will okay. be 33 soon. All right. February. Nice, nice, yes. nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll bleep it out. I'm proud of my age. Okay. All right, cool, cool. I just had to ask. So, okay. Yes. Okay, so you are in the middle between like the 21 year olds yes. and then the 40 yes. something year olds. Yeah, so. but that 10 year difference is it, two, two different worlds. Yeah. The 40 year olds and the 20 year olds. Mm -hmm. Two different, two different worlds. Okay. My hands are a little greasy. Let me yeah. rub it in myself. Okay, get that. This stuff does smell good though. It smells so good. Yeah. 
I like this. I don't even want to take a shower because I don't want it off of me. I, if I had another bottle, I would give you this one, but um, I know you're gonna have to give me like a little plastic bag. Yeah, I give something some to fill in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I mean, this is like the perfect like isn't it night starter. What? With some a, candles when lit. I got a young lady to come over, and you know what I'm saying I got some candles for that too. You do. I'm real big on like when like if I know I'm about to get some ass, I'm mm -hmm. big on like manifesting how it's going down and then yes. setting the mood. Manifesting really? and setting the mood. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I was just talking about this with Larry and Lionel. So like, <clears throat> like I'll manifest how the night's gonna go, like how I'm a like lead into like us getting into it. Yeah, and then of course like the the one of the best like startup lines is let me give you a massage. That's one of the mm. best, right? You know what I'm saying that's one of the best. It is so weak because when a man say that, a girl automatically know like, oh, this nigga wanna fuck. You could have just <laughs> said it. You could have just came but out really... and said, let me see what that pussy hidden for. Well, the thing with me is I really do want to give a massage for yeah. two for two reasons. One because I like just. I really like admiring a nice body. That's why okay. I like prefer nice. I prefer nice bodies. Okay. Um, I, I, regular bodies cool too, but I really prefer just. I just love a woman's body, like a curvaceous yeah. body. I just love that shit. Yeah. So a massage, you really get to adore every square inch of it because you're rubbing it. That's true. You're caressing it. That's true. Right, so you're really getting personal with it. You're not just mm. looking at it and that's that. You're getting personal with it. You're rubbing it. You're making it feel good. And then on top of that, you're using oil, just like this Haru stress-free massage oil. So it's making the woman real slippery, making exactly. her smell good smell and good. relaxing her. Relax, and then her, her skin is glistening. Mm. So that's a gift for me, too. That's why I like giving massages. Mm. Like, yeah, it's a setup because once you massage her back, you massage her it's butt, then you start playing with giving. the pussy. The next thing you know, you're eating it from the back. Everyone knows that's the, you know what I mean? But I'm saying, like, just in general, like, I actually like doing that shit. Mm. Okay. That's me. That's that's up. why I love using the stress free massage oil. That's why I asked for it. You know what I'm saying? Because they have cologne as well uh, yeah. with pheromones and okay. and perfume to release that. You know tension and all that good stuff. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah. So you know, massage. That's I don't use it every time, but that is a good go to. But since I got this shit right here now, oh, pshh, that's a wrap. Yeah, I was about to say, I was just using regular Degla lotion. Yeah. But I mean, you stepped your shit up with this. That's what I'm saying. Oh, so I forgot to mention this. Um, I'm going to provide the link to Haru in the description for this. They have all types of products. Y'all make sure that y'all check it out. But if you use the promo code DAY10, D-A-I, then the number one, then the number zero, you will get 10% off of your order. Do not miss out. And I'm telling y'all, this is the shit. Porsche can even vouch. <laughs> I fucking love it. And we just and I just, and we just got to she just got to experience I the sample. I fucking love it. Like I want to lick it off your hands. Yeah. I see it glistening on yeah, your exactly. hands right now, and it's so, just like so. Uh, and you just <sighs> got the sample. So imagine a full body. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, fellas. If you want to get some, you want to relax her. You want to see them curves looking all sexy and glistening mm -hmm. off the fucking light. Yeah. Get this and quit playing. Because the light don't. Because the light off of your titty meat rattle is just making it look. Amazing. Little titty, little titty yeah, milk. Yeah, yeah. Little chocolate milk, little Nesquik. Yeah, 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 caramel, chocolate milk. Yeah. A little caramel macchiato. Uh -huh. Yeah, there we go. That's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, go get that. Because I promise you, if I come to your house and you got this shit, like it's going down. Mm. Don't even talk to me. Mm. Don't even talk to me. We ain't got to talk about nothing. Is she giving you the massage or you giving him? A a, a, an exchange of massages will be good, good too, right? Like Yeah, but I don't last through exchange. Mm. I don't. I'm do you, sensitive. Do you um do you record often? I don't. Me neither. I never. I have a few yeah. like videos in yeah. my Vault app, but yeah. like I never record. I got homeboys that that's all they do is record. Yeah. I never record. No, I Why don't, don't record. You? Um, one, I'm like an in the moment type of person. Exactly. And then two, I done had like dudes. I even like. Today, woke up to like a Facebook message of a dude I fucked probably five years ago mm -hmm. who recorded and I didn't even know. He was hitting it from the back. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. And he sends it to me and mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, why are you, you know what I'm saying? He want that old thing back. And it's just like, that's weird. It takes out the fun of it. Like if I know you recorded me. Yeah. It, I mean, that conversation, we have to yeah, be you have to talk on a about mature that. level. Right, right, right. 
Because I don't want to be sucking your dick and then all of a sudden here comes some flashlight. Yeah, that you, know you not know of and, and catch you off guard. Yeah, see, and the reason why I don't record is like you said, I'm very in the moment. Like yeah. I just never think of grabbing my phone and recording. Right. However, mm -hmm. if she is on some recorded, mm -hmm. sure, I'm running across the room and ass naked grabbing my phone and Period. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that's that's easy. Yes. But I just if she mentions it, cool. I just never like think of it because right. I'm just I'm just focused on her at the moment. And I feel like you have to have a conversation like me. Don't record yeah, me if I got my bonnet on, I ain't my lashes doing this and that. Yeah, like, I want to look cute too. Yeah, uns so, unsolicited recordings right. are, are, are not don't, don't record me looking <laughs> like DMX. Like don't do that. Respect my gangster. Oh shit, the yes. is crazy. We gotta get this together. Like, let me make sure my wig is right. Let me make sure my lash is looking good. Cause I want to look sexy doing that. Mm -hmm. Don't don't have me looking like you know. I've been at work all day. I'm tired. And I'm doing this cause I gotta pay my rent tomorrow. You know, that's just disrespectful. Have you ever fucked for a buck? Oh, of course. And was this? Was the money paid before or afterwards? Oh, it, before. I always get my money before. Was it discussed before? It was very much discussed before. So would you have not done it if he had not paid you? Oh, that's a good question. I have one guy that, honestly, I would have fucked him for free. But mm -hmm. he always be like offering me money. So it's like, shit, yeah. I might as well. Yeah, of you course. Know what I'm saying? Of course. But yeah, every, every I feel like every woman in America, every woman in the world has fucked for a buck, whether she want to admit it or not. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, I'm a single mother. I'm a single single. Uh, what they call it? I'm a black female addicted to retail. Okay. <laughs> and I'm I've a never single heard mother. That, but I like that. Uh, I'm a black female addicted to retail. I like nice shit. Yeah. You know, you see how I pull up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't I don't fuck around with the fuck around. Yeah, she pulled so, up nice shit too. Yeah. I, I I mean I like that shit in. One, I like niggas that like provide me with things that I like. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't degrade me. If I'm fucking with you, like I'm I'm doing you a service. Don't I, I would want you to want to upgrade me. Yeah. You know what I'm You're saying? You're not saying necessarily you have to upgrade me or have to pay me to do it. Cause like you say, you would the fuck do for free. Right. And the reason why I asked if you have was there ever an instance where you would have not done it if he had not paid is because today, from a man's perspective, and mm -hmm. I and I think that sometimes depending on the situation, right. like we can't we can't find the distinction between tricking prostitution or and this is just how it should go you know what this is a good conversation i was talking about this with the girl who does my hair she's like 23 24 mm -hmm. and she said the difference between relationships then and now is that they're more transactional today is more transactional today correct? is more transactional like me i was in that era where i was kind of scared to ask for some money mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying like yeah, yeah i just Suck the shit out your dick and fuck you real good. And I gotta go home and worry about my light bill tomorrow. Oh, now the, you know the, the conversation starts with a cash app being Boom. sent. Boom. Yeah. Cash app. You mm -hmm. wanna see me? We're going on a date here. Send me send me gas money. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's uh, that is such a good conversation. But so what if it's me, someone like you said, send you gas money? What if it's someone that you're really interested in, you're really attracted to, but they're somewhat stingy on sending you the money? Like they're letting it know up front, like, hey, I'm not really, I'm I won't do that. I won't be sending you money like that. But I like you and I want to get to know you. Would he still get a chance then? He would get a chance, but he would definitely be like on a on a like an alarm type of situation, like. I'm going to give you probably about three or four hours of my, you know, my time mm -hmm. before I start realizing like, or before you start realizing she probably really ain't fucking with me like that. Mm -hmm. Because just off of like me, I like tricks, but I like to trick back. I'm a big trick. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to ask you for something that you can't ask me for. So then what's the difference? The difference is I want you to value me enough to know Hey, you know what? When she come through, she got her hair done. She got her nails done. She looking good. You know what I'm saying? She smelling good. This shit ain't free. Mm. It, You know, uh, female maintenance, I mean, $200 for the wig. $200 for the install. $150 for the lashes. $200 for the nails and the toes. I'm giving you a presentation. Mm. A real man, I feel like, would appreciate that. Okay. But so if you feel like, if I keep coming to you and going on all these dates with you and you ain't... You ain't even discussing like nothing. I'm using money to look good for somebody and I'm not getting nothing out of it. But if you say, hey, you know what? I know you done had your hair like that for about a week or so, whatever, and you're tired of it. Let me pay for this. When we go on a date, 
It's nothing for me to be like, you know what? I got it. Don't even worry about it. Mm. Spoil me. Lead me and mm. spoil me and I'll spoil you back. That's never a problem because I take pride in pleasing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Portia so, the pleaser. Yes. Trick on me and I will trick, trick back, back on you. We spoil each other. Yeah. That's you, it. You know what? I very much understand that perspective because you're saying because women upkeep is very expensive. It's too expensive. So you're saying show that you appreciate the value. That's it. That's all we're asking for. That's it. Even okay. a man just saying, mm, you smell good. I don't care how people want to perceive men. A man knows cheap perfume mm -hmm. from expensive perfume. Oh, yeah. So if yeah. he tell you he smell good, he, he ain't smelling bath and body works. Yeah. He ain't smelling Japanese blossom. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? He know the difference between Dior <laughs> and YSL and what is it? Cherry, Cherry blossom, blossom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and beautiful day. Right. He knows that. You right. know what I'm saying? And for yeah. a man that knows. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. He knows. So I feel like it's not even, it don't even have to be like cash specifically. It don't even have to be discussed. But just for you to pay attention and you to acknowledge what I'm putting it in, what I'm putting in to see you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Once yeah. you do that, we on the same page. I like that. I like that perspective. All right, Portia the Pleaser. I, I try. I, try. I, I, I really enjoyed this conversation. Me too. And the massage too. I enjoyed the massage too. I, I enjoyed it more than you enjoyed it. Yeah, you don't even like... understand. <laughs> I've been moving around and twitching and trying to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to get myself together. Um, we we gonna have to. Uh, well, thank you. I appreciate that compliment. That means I definitely got put it to put it to use then. Um, I, yeah. Again, I appreciated this conversation. I'm really digging your vibe. Like I said, I could tell. You know, just from our behind the scenes conversation that this was going to be a good one and a oh, good yeah. vibe and that it time. was very much so despite the fact that you're a Cowboys fan. See how I did that? I had wait to end it I had to I had to end it with a I had to end it with a curve. I had to end it with a curve. We're gonna do that? Nah we're not. Next time I'm showing up in my Cowboys jersey. And I'm gonna wear my Eagles Vic jersey. No matter of fact I'm gonna wear my I'm going to wear my uh, Randall Cunningham jersey, so we're going to have to do that. But we are going to have to run it back, though, on a serious note. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to have to run this back. Um, I appreciate you for, you know, stopping by. Absolutely. Do you have any last yeah. words for the people as far as, you know, saying what you, uh, you know, want them to hear, what you got going on, anything? Well, I always got something going on. Always check me out on my Instagram. I'm M-A-C-K-D-A-T-G-U-R-L. They shut my last one down because shit got a little too crazy. But always hit me up. Shout crazy, me huh? out. How to get crazy? Oh man, Shh. I was on there doing a whole bunch of shit. Damn, just a bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying? Just how, a, how long ago? Probably about like six to eight months ago. They shut me the fuck down. Six they warned to eight me. Months too late. But I thought they was playing. Mm. They shut my shit down. Shut shut down a lot of stuff for me. So you dialed so, it back since then? I'm I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Do you trying have an OnlyFans? I don't currently have OnlyFans because I had gotten a relationship. Now I'm out of the relationship, clearly. So check out my OnlyFans. So you check my Instagram because I'm definitely getting another OnlyFans. I was going to say, only, it sounds like OnlyFans soon to come. Soon to come. What's, what type of content uh, is going to be on there? I mean, it's going to be all type of content. Whatever y'all want to request, y'all can always DM me. I am a pleaser. Portia so the just let me know what you like and um that should be a, a handle, Portia the Pleaser. It should be. I like that. Portia now the that pleaser. you kept yeah. saying that, and I was yeah. just like, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Portia the Pleaser. <laughs> can we take this and go in the other room and I can show you better than I can tell you? Yeah. Anyways, check me out. Do you want to give me a um, massage? Could you give me a massage? Just steal me something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that see now that combo was they, they don't know that side of me. They don't know that side I'm of sorry. me. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Ocean, Ocean's but just check 11. me out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nah, you should, uh, you know what I'm saying, keep them up to date with the um, with the OnlyFans. I know a lot of people look forward to that. Absolutely. Based off of not even just on a sexual point, just your vibes. Absolutely. What was the what was the weirdest request you ever received when you did have OnlyFans? <sighs> it's been a lot. Like I had one dude, he had me dress up. I had to order this bullshit online. It was like the little schoolgirl type of situation. Mm -hmm. But he wanted me to do shit like Lick like utensils, like forks and knives and spoons and shit. And I was just like, nigga. He probably saw some type of trauma in the kitchen with his mom when he was a baby or some shit. I don't like, know, why so would weird. you have me do that? Yeah. Why would you do that to my life? But how much did he pay you for it? Enough. Okay. I ain't paid rent in like three years. So, yeah. Um, yeah. 
um, check me out. You're going to always see me somewhere doing something with somebody, whether it's um, freaky, whether it's just popping shit, whether it's talking shit about the fucking birds that he over here trying to rep. I'm going to always be somewhere talking some shit. So thank you for having me. Day D-A-Y. D-A-Y. Ah, no, nah, you're an Eagles fan. It's D-A-Y. <laughs> so I'm going to keep fucking that up until I can't fuck it up no more. How at your girl. I can't even I can't even like put an outro on top of that. That was amazing. Thank you. I'm gonna just say this. For y'all tuning in, I just ask that y'all like, subscribe, comment, share, Absolutely. help feed the algorithm, whether you're watching on YouTube or listening. And if you are listening, check this out on YouTube. Get the whole visual experience, especially this episode. This episode was definitely an experience. So make sure that y'all tune in on YouTube. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay blessed. Go birds. Peace. Wait a fucking minute. Go Cowboys. I'm, I'm cutting it off after I said that. Go it'll, Cowboys. It don't matter what you say. I'm Go cut, Cowboys. I'm cutting it off after that point. Why you gotta be a hater like that? <laughs>